what do you think on Hitchens I'm winning this fight? I mean, and I'm how about that scorecard? Well, I don't know what I'm watching. I'm I've got it to bring after like. I love you, Cara. I love you, please. Edgar. Hey, man, what do you think of uh, uh, Hitchens' win? What would you think? Uh, he looked amazing, man. You know, he, he's top dog now. You know, that's my brother, man. I'm happy for him, you know. No hate and shit, you know what I'm saying? He's one of the... Right now, he's one of the best right now in the game. You know what I'm saying? He grabbed Liam Power. He made it look like easy work. I don't care about those scorecards. He beat the shit out that dude. No, he, he definitely dominated the fight, man. Just, I mean, New York got a champion, man. Does that seem, uh, does that motivate you? That You know what I mean? Crazy. I'm trying to get the IBF myself, man. I want that motherfucker, William Skull. I want that motherfucker. You know, let's see he take the fight, though. I saw, we heard uh, Eddie Hearn say that it sounds like March 8th, maybe. Yeah. Here in Puerto Rico, man. You got any names? Anybody? Uh, you we know. still, we still looking, man. You know, I'm leaving it up to my team. You know, obviously we we looking for a big, big fight, 2025. You know, either to start the year or to end the year with a bang. You know what I'm saying? But uh, definitely, man. You know, you got guys Caleb playing, Jaime Mugia, Charlo out there. Those three top names, bro. Right now, that we can make it, we can make it happen. You know, is that that Mexico Puerto Rico fight like that kind of rivalry? Obviously, you just had one with Canelo, but obviously you want to get a win, yeah, right? Yeah. Mugia would be Mugia's a rival. That's that's a rival fight right there. That's Puerto Rico versus Mexico. You know, that's we're gonna sell, we're gonna sell. Any stadium out, we fight. You got a lot of love over here, man. Do you, do you feel the love when you come over? I'm a king, man. I'm a king, bro. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a king, bro. I'm going to make uh, everywhere, yeah? I'm going to have you. I told him. Anthony Joshua, man. Edgar, nah, seriously. Look, you coming off a really great fight. You built your profile. You're huge. You're a star. 147, heavyweight talk. What are you going to do nah, next, nah, bro? I go to heavyweight. I go to heavyweight. Oh, oh, Back in March, in we'd March. love to bring him back here for, yeah. for a big homecoming. It'd be special. Against who? Because you you know the names that have been lobbed out there. Caleb Plant, Mungia. Who, who's the guy that Edgar faces yeah, next? I think next we're going to come back with a good win against a solid top 15 guy. Then for me, he's, he's the boss. But Mungia, Plant, Charlo, I think they've got to be the targets for the summer. Gotcha. Asa. Yeah. Gotcha. We're the bag now. Man. If you could have it any way, Edgar, what would you have next? Right now, what do you mean? Say it again? Next fight, if you can have it anyway, you, you know, your choice, what would be next? Well, fight or? Yeah, yeah, fight. fight you got Caleb Plant. I like the Caleb Plant fight a lot now. I'm, I like that fight. What are you talking about that fight, Eddie? Love it. A, a lot, Caleb. He's going to sell a fight. He's yeah. going to sell a fight. Yeah, those two will talk well. They'll have a little fight at a press smash conference. smash them. And then get it on in the ring. You guys have obviously you and Caleb have gone back and forth. You've had experience with him in the past. What do you think happens in a fight with you and Caleb playing now? No, less than six rounds. 100%, six round KO. 100%. Less than six rounds. 100%. What about you versus Charlo? Charlo too. I told him I'm gonna have a bottle of 1942 for him. <laughs> Edgar, uh, I saw uh, Shakur posted a picture of you guys way back in the day in the amateurs. What, just, what, what memories does that bring? Like, where, where were you guys at? What was that? Nah, me, me. <laughs> that was the OTC. That was, a, that, was a, that, was a, that was an Olympic training summer. That was quick. That was fast. Me and Shakur, that's my brother. We don't got to post up for, for Instagram on that shit. Like, that's really my brother, man. Like, we have deeper conversations than a lot of these dudes. Like, you know, like, people could post up and shit, you know what I'm saying? But me and him, we have real conversations. You know, that's my brother, man. Well, what do you think about Javante kind of? Dissing his record, kind of, you know, like, well, what has Shakur done? Basically saying that. What do you think about Javante saying that about Shakur? I mean, you know, I, it's boxing, bro. You know, they, everybody going to talk shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, hopefully one day they can fight, you know. I think I think that'll be a big fight. What do you think about Shakur and Schofield? Who's that, Schofield? Oh, that, that's, oh yeah. He's fighting that kid, Austin. Yep. I'm not going to lie. He, his levels, man. You know, but shout out to Schofield, though. You know what I'm saying? I don't, got no, I don't know him. I don't know his dad, but... You know, they seem pretty cool, you know, father and son relationship, boxing. Um, uh, man, they going crazy. Man, that's what happens when you come. I like that kid out here. They lose a good little scrapper. <laughs> Eddie, so what's uh, next for, for Richardson? I mean, obviously champion. I mean, that's who he called out. Listen, I think when you're as good as Richardson, I think just go, you know, go for the champions. You've got Valenzuela, great champion, of course. Um, you know, the WBC's going to be fought for soon. Uh, you've got Tia Fimo. That's the big fight for Brooklyn. 
All right, Tiafimo against Richardson Hitchens is a great fight. He's a very special fighter, and you'll see the best of him against the very elite, and that's what he wants to do. Well, what about uh, Liam Parrell? Obviously, you know, took, took a... Oh, oh! Listen, there's a fight with George Cambosis, you know, we've got Dawn Smith, we've got Regis Progray, we've got Jack Catterall, we've got loads of guys at 140, so, you know, I thought he was uh, very brave, and listen, that's a real champion who says, let's do the mandatory now, rather than trying to duck, you know, duck out of it, so he, he went for gold tonight, came up short, but he'll be back. I was going to say, you just mentioned Catterall. Did you think Catterall's a good fight too? Great fight. Obviously, Catterall's been ordered to fight Barboza in the final eliminator, so we'll have to see. But um, Catterall against Hitchens, great fight as well.